What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week. Guys, my apologies for not making video sooner. Got a lot going on here between work, and I'm updating my other computer, the one my main computer. I, don't, I was only running like a Windows 8.1 on it, so I decided to put Windows 10. Now, this computer here that I'm on, making this recording, this does have Windows 10, so I'm trying to get the other one up to date, up to speed, so to speak. And uh, so, yeah, I've got a little bit going on here right now. So, again, my apologies, but we're going to rock these out for you anyway. All right, guys, i got a photo for you guys. It's going to knock your socks off. It's nothing less than awesome. Now, my good friend Neville Thompson, the one that does all the Gigapans, and I call him the Gigapan Master for a reason because he's he does these things effortlessly, right? Well, anyway, he's run across a satellite photo that is just awesome. And when you guys see this, you're going to be blown away. This is cool. Let's get started with this. All right, you can find it right here. It's on the high rise at the University of Arizona, which, and you can see it right here. The area we're going to be looking at is the Atlantis Chaos region. Now, you can download a bunch of this right here. You can download a JPEG, which is okay, different map projected, so on and so forth. He likes to use the JP2 or the JP2 extras, and the one we're looking at is map projected. Now, depending on if you have the software to open this, it may be a problem. And the good thing about it, he's done all the work for you, and he's put this photo up on Flickr, and you're going to see what I'm saying. All right, here's the information on the side right here. You can see it. Acquisition date, April 19, 2009. M uh, local Mars time was 3.21 p.m. And, of course, you get your latitude, your longitude. Spacecraft altitude was 159.1 miles above the Martian surface, or 256 kilometers. Okay, so let's jump into this. Here's the photo that he's got right here. And, guys, just by looking at this thing, it's just crazy when you see it. But we're going to get into this a little bit more. So anyway, like I said, this is Neville Thompson's work. This is not mine. He gets full credit for this. Now, I've asked him if he's done anything to this photo. And what he told me was he simply just adjusted the contrast. Nothing more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you his. And then I just went a step further. And I used a burn tool just in just over real, real lightly to bring up all small details or darker details. You'll see what I mean. You can get it right here at the lower right corner. Right here. Now, guys, if you don't have a fast computer with a good CPU, the whole nine yards, I would not do the original. It is quite large. And quite frankly, if you click on it, it take forever for this thing to open up for you. Now, if you do, it's a newer computer, click. Probably be instantaneous, right? All right. So you can do the... I would go with the large or the extra large. And, of course, you can click on it and it will down, start downloading for you uh, right there. You can see it right there instantly. Now, the other one will take a bit longer. But... Download whichever one works for you. I usually go the extra large or the original, again, depending on your computer, right? All right. Now, we're going to jump into this. Guys, check this out. When you start to look at this thing, right off the bat, you see all of these lines and everything else. But look between there. Now, it keeps going up over here. Okay. And you can see the whited out area right here in this area here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back down because I'm going to show you what really got my attention. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's jump into Photoshop. I'm going to show you his first, which is here. Okay, and you can see where he's done the work to it here. And it looks really, really good, man. Look at this. The first thing I thought of when I zoomed into this area right here, right? Down here in the bottom. Right here. You can see what looks like little areas and it looks like it might have trees in it it almost looks like it's kind of lower in other words if these were some kind of roadway right here that it's almost like they're lower than the roadways and they have either some kind of tree growth or it's structural somehow i don't know but it is pretty fascinating one way or the other now over here check this out I notice this area right here. You've got these two going like this here. Going off in different directions. They look like roads. As far as I'm concerned, they do. You've got this piece right here. And guys, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to not only enhance this a hair bit more, but maybe shop it up a hair bit. I'll tell you the area that really caught my eye, okay? Check this out. I thought this is really, really interesting. Right here. Okay. And when you look at it, you can see like it's all white inside of this slotted area. And what looks like is something going off from this area to this area. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. And again, this is Neville's. I don't get any credit for this. This is all his work. Now, what I want you to take note of is this stuff in the back on the side of this 
right in this area. I'm going to put a big X right there, right? Right there. Now, when you start to see these little little anomalies and things sitting here, you're just going to be like, what is that? Check this stuff out, guys, right here. Right in here. This is cool. Now, I'm just going to back up just a little bit for you guys. Right there. Now, check that out. That's pretty cool. When I see that, that is just phenomenal. Now, let's back out a little bit because this is also equally cool. When you look down at all of these other pieces, right in here, right there, you can almost see what looks like other anomalies up here at the top. And again, I'm going to go over this stuff so you guys can see this really, really good. Like this area right here, okay? Right there and here. Now I'm going to back out just a little bit and let you guys have a look with your magnifiers. I think this is all trees down here. All right in here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back down to the main area. I call this the main area because, again, this is what caught my eye right here, guys. To me, this is absolutely proof positive of what is really on Mars. You guys can have a look. Pause it any way you like. Get rid of them lines. All right. Let's jump in over here. Now, this is what I've done here. Basically the same thing. All I do is just made it a little bit darker. We'll zoom into this. Now, you can see there's not much difference or variations at all, but one thing I want you to take note of, in this area I showed you right here, where I showed you this area right here, Okay, I want you guys to take note of this little pieces right here. Right here. Okay. And now take a look at these objects all in here. Check that out. Now, if you look down here, you can see this, this area here a bit better. Check out the objects in here. Okay. The littlest details, like right here, I was showing you earlier. You can see what looks like roads. Look at the way they go off like this. Let's go ahead and use the red for this. You can see it right here, going down like this. Going like this. Kind of like this weird Z formation kind of thing. Going like this. It looks like city roads that's what it looks like to me now it also looks like there's trees in between everything but understand check out the smaller pieces between these darker areas and, all right now i'm going to back out go back over to this area and jump in now let's check out this up here I'm just going to back up just a hair bit. Again, use your magnifiers. And check this thing out. This, I mean, just, just little areas like this. This is cool. Right here. What looks like this weird structure. And you notice a lot of times when you're trying to hide something, you have something that's half brown, something half white. So you got to look at the shapes. Shapes are everything. Okay. Now go back into here. Look at some of these things that are up here, guys. Right here. But there's a bunch of little, little things right in here. Check this out. Right in here. Look at this spot in here. Again, use your magnifiers. Look at all of these up here. Now, it's not crystal clear, and I get that, but we are 156 miles above the, the Martian surface. Understand that. So it's not going to be crystal clear, and we're trying to bring these things out as best we can for you guys, right? So let me back out again, drop back down to the main area. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken this stuff up so that we can get rid of the super bright areas and bring it down, right? Okay. Now, take a, another look at this area right here. This is cool, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is neat. Just this area alone caught my eye. 
right here. Take a look with your magnifier and this whole circle. Pause it right here. Have yourself a look. Just this alone, boom. You know what I mean? It, it just blew me away because the amount of things that are in here, it's just, there's no way that this stuff can be natural. Again, looking at all the gr little gray areas in between the dark areas and everything else, just have a look. Even outside the circle, guys. Just outside the circle. Bring it down here. Look at the weird, just, oh, man, just, just the stuff that's in here is cool. Again, it looks like if you were to take this area right here alone, okay, it looks like trees in between these areas. In other words, either these are roadways or I want you to like picture like, you know, like you got a flower box outside your window, right? Picture something very large built into the ground with either like almost like a farming kind of thing. And you've got all of these weird things in between. Like, what do you think these things could be, guys? Again, this area right here. Right in here. All of these little pots right in here. Okay. I'm just going to move up here a little bit. Again, pause it where you like. I'm going to jump up to the top here. Check this out. Look at the many, many things in this area alone. Just this alone. Okay. Again, little squares, little things in between these docket areas. That's what this is all about. This All up in here. This area, not so much, but there is quite a bit. And then you've got this item right here. Which looks kind of large. This one right here almost looks like it's right here. It looks almost like this big square kind of foundation thing. Or something that almost looks like pyramidal. Now, I could be wrong. It might be just the way the shadows are, right? And that's perfectly fine with me. But check that out. Guys, to me, like I said, this is probably the most solid proof. And I even told Neville that. I said, listen, Neville, this to me is absolute proof. And uh, he gets kudos for this. And like I said, it is his work. This one here is mine where I made it darker to bring out some more of the details. And they are. Jump back out. To me, this is positive evidence, guys. This is evidence right here. Uh, he even said maybe it's ruins. How do we know they're even ruins? They, they could be just the, the occupants have left and they're just there. The other thing I thought of, what do you guys think of this idea? I'm looking at this area down in the bottom here. I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay. To me, how do we know that this wasn't partially an underground area? All of this framing. Okay right here and stuff like that. How do we know that wasn't part of an, uh, a top or a roof, meaning the ground covered it, and underneath was something like another structure underground, like there was underground living as well as on the top. It's either roads or some kind of framework. You guys give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. Guys, I'm going to jump on out of here. I'm just going to give you one last look at this. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Here's the original from Neville Thompson right here. Again, good eye on this. Gets full props for it. I will leave a link to his page in my uh, pinned post at the top of the comment section, as always. Uh, so you can check out his Facebook page. If you've got Facebook, check it out. Um, he got a lot of good finds. You'll find there's a lot of photos from the UFA group, which is the uh, United Family of Anomaly Hunters. And you'll see that they put their, their finds and stuff like that in each other's uh, pages. You'll find that's pretty interesting. So I'll give you the link to his page. You can check it out. He's got a lot of good finds in there. And like I said, he's the one I go to as far as any kind of gigapans because he, like I said, I call him the gigapan master because uh, basically he does these things so seamlessly. It's just unreal. As always, guys, you be the judge. Let me know what you think. Like and please share the video. Always appreciate you guys know that. And most of all, comment, throw your thoughts below. What are you seeing here? To me, this is absolutely mind-blowing. Satellite photo, 156 miles above the Martian surface. This is awesome. And when I seen this, I went, well, I've seen some before that looked eh, kind of mediocre. Nothing to get excited about. This here, after going over it with my magnifier, guys, boom. It was right there in your face. You can see it plain as day. 
Anyway, guys, got some more interesting stuff coming up. Got more Mars and Moon, as always. And uh, we're going to keep rocking it for you guys. So anyway, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.